Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today made a, a nice move. Now sure there was a pullback here, but even where it ultimately closed compared to you know where it was, Today, the bull still made progress and made, like I said, a good move. But that does bring up the question, and a very logical question, is there any sort of true power behind this move? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level, and that's why I love charts, makes things very straightforward. And that level is down here at $3.75. Why is 3.75 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine strength, with true power, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, a price movement with true power is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about $3.75. Any sort of closes blow it, or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back to within this range where it already was. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, bounces around, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows right here. If you picture each of those as stair steps, well then, hey, you got stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's what truly strong moves do, right? They make progress upwards as time goes by. So sure, like I said, there was a pullback, uh, but the bull still have an opportunity to build that higher base and therefore build and continue to build upon, uh, you know, the longer term uptrend. Now, what about levels of resistance? If this upwards move is gonna continue, where are some of these battlegrounds at? First key level of resistance and any sort of bounce right here at $4.40. And then after 4.40, uh, the previous highs from today, which you can see on several different occasions, the, the, the bulls try to fight through, but right up there around the $5 mark. But as you can see with that little batch of highs right there, couldn't quite do it. But before we talk about right around the $5 region, uh, bulls first got to get back above $4.40. So no doubt about it, very interesting day to day. A, a solid day on the bulls part, so we'll see if they can now build upon this momentum going forward. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.